In this session, we are discussing lesson 15, class 11th biology, entitled Plant Growth and Development. The word growth, how to explain it and what does it mean? In our case, we are born as a small baby and grow to adult size. And after we have grown to adult size, we may start growing in circumference. That is growth. Growth is not only increase in size, it means many more things. In case of plants, the growth, as you can understand, the seed, it gives rise to plant, then plant has leaves, it grows leaves, it grows twigs, flowers, fruits, of course stem and root, all these things are part of growth. Now, how this growth is controlled? In case of plant, it depends on intrinsic factors as well as extrinsic factors. Growth anyway will mean increase in size, increase in height, increase in weight. In case of plants, the fresh weight, the dry weight, increase in girth, all these are parameters of growth. Now, how growth is taking place? As a science student, as a biology student, you have heard about meristematic tissue. The meristematic tissue is a growth area for any plant. It is present at the tip of stem, at the tip of root, and on the sides parallel uh, to the length of the plant. It is present in many areas. And that is how it is giving growth in elongation as well as in girth. When growth takes place, first thing it will give length or the elongation. An elongation in case of plant will be the height. It will increase and surprisingly in case of plants, some plants can go on growing in height for quite some time. There is no upper limit. But, of course, we all, the animals, have the limits. The meristematic tissue, which is dividing at the tip of a stem, for example, will cause the elongation of a stem. We are discussing phases of growth. As I told you, that meristematic tissue at the tip of a stem is causing elongation. Similarly, meristematic tissue at the tip of a root is causing root elongation. And the same thing is happening in other areas, but elongation is not enough. So what do we mean by phases of growth? First is, of course, increase in size. In this case, it is in length. Second thing will be maturity. And third will be maturity at the level of functional maturity. That means if it is a flower, it should be able to do work of flower. If it is a leaf, it should be able to do the work of the leaf. So, now growth will have many meanings, many connotations. And that is how the different phases of growth will be present in the plant. As you know, from one seed a plant will come. Initially, a stem will come with one or two leaves. And later on, there will be big root, big stem very uh, big height then so many uh, side branches so many leaves and birds and flowers and finally the fruit so these all are different parameters of growth in the plant and growth is taking place in our case also when we talk of growth it is not only increase in size of the body suppose there is an adult the size has increased now do you think we don't need further growth we need when our hormones are working, we need growth. When there is some injury, we need growth in the repair mechanism. And again, growth factor couples with other factors to do many particular activities in the body. And same thing is happening in plant. It is not only one kind of growth which is happening all the time. There are different types of growths and sometimes one growth 
kind appears to be part of other growth item. So, phases of growth are there. Then growth rates. The growth rate may be different in different areas of plant. To start with the increasing in height becomes a fast rate and later on increasing in girth becomes faster. Similarly, sometimes it is full of leaves, sometimes there are no leaves. They are all kind of trees, sometimes the leaves fall and in some kind of trees leaves will not fall. So, depending upon the nature of the plant, the growth will move accordingly. Suppose the leaves fall, that means new leaves have to come out. And when new leaves are coming out, then growth is starting all over again in terms of leaf growth. Fruits will come and now the season is over, fruit is not coming and next time fruits will again come. So, again flower will come and then fruit will come and again a growth, a different kind of growth. So, growth is of different parameter and different types and rates can be measured in many ways in plants. Now, we come to condition for growth. We have understood that growth is essential and it is taking place in plants because we are discussing growth in plants today. Now, next step is the only growth is enough for plant or we need something more. We know that plant has come out from one seed and this one seed or zygote has given rise to ancestry to the plant. Now, if all the cells are like that of seed or the zygote, then will it serve the purpose of the growth? Perhaps not. And there will come a few more steps to understand like differentiation, de-differentiation, re-differentiation, etc. Now, the cells which are formed are of the same type. They must differentiate that okay, this cluster of cell will produce leaves, this cluster of cells will produce spines or thorns or tendrils as per requirement of the plant or this particular cell group will produce a stem or bark or some product from the plant, some secretion from the plant. What I am meaning to say is to start with all the cells are alike when they start growing from the seed and now they start differentiating. In other words, if I try to make you understand in your body, when your body starts making from zygote, the cells are of the same type. All cells look alike. Later on around the gastrulite stage, the differentiation takes place. The mapping takes place that now this cell will make nose, this cell will make eyes, this cell will make neck or elementary canal or respiratory system. So, division takes place. It is called fate maps. That what is the fate of which cell in this map that takes place in gastrula. So, that is differentiation. Now, that particular cell will make only nose which is assigned this work. It will not make tail in case of dog or uh, stomach in case of a human being or uh, horn or any other thing. Similarly, in plants, the cells which are initially coming from the seed, they are all alike and now they will differentiate. And after differentiation, their role is fixed and they will go according to their roles. And they never go wrong in this respect because these are intrinsic characters, these messages are given through genes and these are genetic informations. Once differentiation has taken place, one differentiation is not enough in case of plants. The cells which are differentiated, they are doing their job okay. But now a point will come when they will not do their job further, like leaf is formed. Once leaf is formed, now those cells have not much of work to do, means they had to make leaf, they have made the leaf. So, differentiation for those cells finish at this point and they remain dormant for quite some time till you pluck the leaf and the leaf comes out. So, they are de-differentiated. 
So, de differentiation is the cells which were differentiated did their job and were sitting ideal for quite some time and again started working when it was required. So, that is de differentiation. Now, re differentiation is when the cells which were differentiated they did some job and then they were sitting ideally and then they entered another phase and started doing other work and that is re differentiation. As you know, in case of flower, the flower is doing one job, it comes out, it has uh, basic structures for uh, female reproduction or male reproduction or both and then fertilization takes place. Again, some changes are going on, pollen tube is made and uh, fertilization has taken place, then fruit formation starts, then sometimes splitting of fruit or this dispersal of uh, uh, things also start. All these things are taking place and this will come in redifferentiation. So, what you must understand that the cells which are formed as a result of growth, that is not enough and that does not remain like this for full life in case of plant. So, again there is differentiation, sometimes there is difference, de differentiation and sometimes there is re differentiation. Depending upon the need of the time and need of the plant, these processes are interchangeable and this results into development. I am sure you have seen some plants, the, all the leaves will fall and there is not even single leaf on the plant. Then you will see after some time, some small leaflets will come which will be whitish in shade, not very green because they have yet to grow and do the photosynthesis, yet to have the chlorophyll and then they grow further and they attain the full size and after they have attained the full size, the size further will not increase. It is something like you have your fingers, when you were baby these fingers were made and once the finger achieved the size it should be, the growth will stop. Other example can be suppose with a blade you cut a tip of your finger by mistake. Of course, repair process will start and finger will be completed if it is little cut, not much and once the tip is completely formed, it will not go on growing and making a finger very, very, very long. It will stop when the size of the finger which was originally the size has reached. What I am trying to say, these things are genetically controlled. So, leaves which are growing because of growth, because of uh, cells, they will stop growing in size after the size of the leaf for that particular plant has reached. Now, these cells will remain dormant for some time till they are de-differentiated or re-differentiated. Similarly, in case of flowers and similarly in case of roots. So, development is a complex process whether it is plant or animal, but whatever the development is, it definitely involves growth and growth is an important part of plants. In this session, we have discussed the initial part of growth in plants. Plants have huge body and growth is an important factor. And we have also discussed the role of miasmatic tissue in stem, in roots and increase in the girth. We have also discussed growth in terms of leaves, growth in leaves, formation of flowers, formation of fruit and we have discussed differentiation, de-differentiation and re-differentiation which are important parts of growth and help in development of plant. The plant is to be maintained for very long time and all the processes should go on regularly and according to the times prescribed and for that growth is very important. There are some growth regulators. How growth is regulated we will discuss in the next session. For now we come to the end of this session. Thank you.